Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Tuesday on the eve of 4th of July on this beautiful July 3rd. How's everybody doing? Good to see you, Mike. Charlie, good to see you. Tom, Lita, look at that. Everyone's here bright and early. Look at that. I would think half of you basically took off today. Good thing we didn't take off, right, with the GBR trade? Holy cow, good to see you, Andrea, Donna, Jean, Ken, good to see you. Gary, Grant, good to see you. Sharon and all the new cyber traders that came and joined us, um, you guys basically, you know, it's funny, but I didn't think it was going to be as active as I thought it would be these, these two days. But um, let me tell you, when you saw what happened from yesterday and now what we're having this morning, I mean, how do you not want to do this for a living? You know, it's funny. I was... I had this conversation with someone a little bit early. Everybody's like, you got to learn how to swing trade. You got to do options. Let me ask you a question. When was the last time you had a stock, you know, that went from $2 to $13, all right? In two days, actually the one day, how about yesterday? When it went right out of the pre-market, we started at eight o'clock this morning. Look at it right here. And boom, we made money right up to about 8.45 and then Everybody's like, oh, we missed the boat. It went from four, it went to 650. Everyone's like, yeah, high-fiving everybody. And then sure enough, boom, right at 930, boom, the thing goes from six all the way to about 13 again. And look what happened this morning. Holy cow. Could you get any better than that? It just did not stop. Um, and you know when it happened? Exactly when we taught you when to start, right at 830. So um, 750 to 13.50. I mean, you guys in pre-market cleaned up. Who made a lot of money this in pre-market? I'm trying to go back in some of the chat that we have here, but my God, I mean, I can't believe how much chat we have. Andre made two dollars and thirteen cents on it. Who else made money on it? Ta Ted made four bucks on it. Dave made a buck on it. I mean, I'm just look trying to go back on the chat. This is what and this and uh, you probably need to just take off. I mean. Uh, I mean, I made a few. I made a few bucks on it myself. I and mean, you know what I told everybody? I told everyone, just buy one stinking share, one lousy little stinking share. What do you have to lose? What do you have to lose on one share? Just to see what it's like to go and to get to be in it. You know. So anyway, that was the beauty of it. And uh, you know what? If you missed a ride, what do I say every day? Don't worry. You come back the next day. You realize you got to be in there early. And whenever and, and follow all the students that I've trained, how well they do. You know, remember, it's not what I'm doing; it's what I teach you how to do it to follow how to be a team a team player and make your money. But that was just a hands down great little position. All right. Now a couple other things. Um, a couple other things I want to talk uh, talk really quick. First of all, I want to make one quick announcement just to remind everyone today. Um, is a half a day in the market. The market closes at one o'clock. So you're gonna go full throttle up until about one o'clock. There's no time, there's no breaks here. This is like Thanksgiving, uh, the day after Thanksgiving. So um, we're gonna get a lot of volatility. It's gonna go on. A lot of people are gonna make some big moves. Um, you could see, I got a whole list of stocks. I'm shocked how, I mean, I, I went back in my, my monthly journals and I don't remember being like this. I mean, there's, there's definitely something going on in the market. It's been a lot of fun. So don't forget. And by the way, we still are going to have Traders Talk at 1 o'clock. So if everybody here, you know, uh, Traders Talk is one of the most popular classes that we do weekly here with Josh. And uh, which is great because Mark will be closed and you got Traders Talk. Take everything that we've, uh, issues that you have that you don't understand. Make sure you're in there and Traders Talk. And for all you new members here, um, you're going to enjoy that. It's a very exciting part of your education that you get uh, with CTU. All right, let's go through. Um, now, let me just go over a couple of the stocks that did pretty well yesterday. Twitter did really well. Um, oops, let me fix my little chart here. Uh, Twitter had a really nice pop, 43 to about 44. This thing has just been an animal lately. It's not only been a good um, day trade, it's been a pretty decent swing trade. Square also nice little pop right there, 60 all the way to 62, making make a little bit of a comeback. Uh, the IQ that one was all over the place yesterday, it just came from nowhere at the close. We're in from 31 to about 33. A lot of us did pretty well on that one. And then you know, on um, BJ's, you know, that's like our new toy right now that BJ's trade. So, um, BJ's had a nice little pop, you, you know, for some of us that missed out and wanted to get it cheaper. 
You could have got it in uh, a little bit earlier, but uh, yeah, BJ has been doing pretty well. Starting to build a nice little Fausto flag right there also. Just give you guys a little heads up on that. All right, so what are we going to be trading going into this morning? Well, we got the GBR. A lot of us cleaned up on it. Let me tell you, something's going on with that stock. It, 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 it doesn't really want to go down. It really does not want to go down. Something is up with it. It's holding pretty strong here. I wonder if it's going to be just like what it did yesterday. It's going to pop and maybe go to 20. Who knows? But um, if you didn't get into it and you're afraid to lose, like I always say, buy one share of it. What, 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 what's the worst thing that could happen? You lose, you lose a dollar. You know, you got to learn to trade. You can't make money paper trading and watching all day. You got to hit the button, guys. GBR, top of the list. M-I-C-T. Another one that looks pretty interesting this morning for all the ones a little bit slow. The only thing I don't know what's up with the stock, it's, it's, it gapped up pretty nicely, but she's on a little bit of a downtrend, which by the way, it was the same thing that happened with GBR yesterday. It went up on a downtrend and things just popped. MICT is another one we saw this morning. Oh, I, I got that one. S-A-E-X. That one also got a little bit of a move. Not a little cheapy, up 33%. 770,000 shares already traded. Building a little bit of a... Um, Little volatility just kicked in just now. That one's pretty good. AVXL, another one's going to go on the Fausto watch list. Stock's up 22%, 142,000 shares. Stock took a little bit of a hit from 450, came all the way back down. She's up right in the middle right now. You could use previous um, support and resistance levels on that. And also look at the matrix, got some decent buyers and sellers. Uh, what else am I at? The, the VEON I found this morning too. I think this is a buyout. I don't know what the story with it because she's kind of flat. I'll see what happens when she opens up. But I'm um, starting to build a little bit of a funnel right there. GEVO. That's another one that we had, baby. That one was what we killed this morning. Guys, who remembers this one? This was our 1,000% winner. GEVO. Look at that chart right there. Stock went from $4 all the way to 24 You know what? She's got a little bit of a move this morning. Be nice to can go back to 24 right? Well, she's back in play again. Um... So keep an eye on that one. You can see got, got a lot of orders out there. 750,000 shares traded. All right, for all the people out there that says, well, what about some name brand stocks? Well, Yo uh, Roku is moving up nicely this morning. You know, once again, I'm not going to go out there. I'd rather trade a four, uh, GBR or, or the $4 stock and trade 45. But if we have to, you know, Roku's got a nice little move this morning. And then MXC is another one that I found, $11 stock up 35%, 71,000 shares. You could see that stock has been having a nice little move lately the last couple of days, and uh, she's gapping up a little bit nicely today. You can just bring up, change the time frame on this one so you can see what I'm talking about. Yeah, nice little push right there, and also on the long term, nice little Fausto flag. Now, not a lot of iceberg orders, though. It's the only thing that turned me off about it. Uh, oh, yeah, and I forgot the PED, right? That was another one. Um, PED. We did. We killed it with that one. Fifty cents to four dollars. She started to make a little bit of a move. I'll put that one on the list too. P E D. So we got a big list. We got a packed list. You guys are gonna go full throttle to one o'clock. No breaks. First hour is like the last hour, and then everyone's gonna go enjoy it. It is scorching, scorching hot here in New York. Big heat wave over hundred degrees last couple of days. Um, I couldn't even take. I, I don't know. Honestly, I'd rather stay inside with the air conditioning and just trade. But um, the 4th of July is tomorrow, and uh, a lot of people are going to leave early, but, uh, but we, you know what? Let's go make a lot of money in, uh, uh, in trading and you know, enjoy it and spend it, all right? Anything I'm missing, guys, I did not call out? Yeah, definitely, Dave. Uh, Pre-market was full throttle. Comfortable, so very comfortable in South Cal for you. <laughs> well, Tom, I know. I had, uh, I could imagine, well, my, uh, my... My condolences, you know, <laughs> to us it's dying over here with the heat. But anyway, what is what it is? Make a lot of money. Could buy a nice air conditioning unit. That's what it's all about. IQ is a nice short. Um, uh, once again, I'm. I, I've been. I would. You, it's going to probably be testing some support levels here. But remember, IQ is pretty crazy, Ken. That thing is very, very volatile. But we made a lot of money on it. And we'll see what's going to happen on the swing trade. All right, guys, listen, good luck today. Happy trading. And uh, don't forget, don't blow up any, no, no, nobody blow any fingers off of 4th of July. All right, be careful. Go out there and pay someone else to do it, all the money you made here in the room. All right, or go go see it somewhere else. But go buy yourself a nice, uh, go buy some nice lobsters, some steak, whatever you guys do. But enjoy 4th of July. And uh, we'll come back strong on 
uh, strong on uh, what you call on uh, on Thursday. All right, and then don't forget one o'clock you have closing. You have traders talk, so don't forget that. And then hopefully everybody else has been enjoying it, guys. Good luck, happy trading. Have your salmon. Yep, Dave. Go ahead, and I'll put these picks. And hopefully everybody uh, did well this morning. And, hey, guys. And last, last thing, last thing, I just want to remind everyone: if you missed it, what what happened this morning? This just makes you realize that you got to wake up early in the morning to get into the room. All right, don't waste any time. We open up at eight a.m. We make most of our money then, and uh, that's when and that's when you need to be there. So if you missed it this morning or Monday or Tuesday, whatever days you missed. You'll be back on Thursday. All right, guys, listen, good luck. I got to stop talking. I could sit here and talk all day. But uh, good luck and, uh, you know, and I'll see you <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, on Thursday. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.